Hey everybody, welcome back to Necrobarista. Decided to continue this because I'm kinda curious about what's gonna happen next. I've heard the story is pretty good, so I have high hopes here. Last time, we ended off at the beginning of the scene where Shay has just gone upstairs and Ashley and Kishan are doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> so we're gonna strap a big old steak knife to it and make them fight each other! Oh, I love it! This is gonna be great! I want to build something that gets put on that TV show, Rebattle Royale. With flamethrowers on it. Um... You're not gonna put that one on this little guy, are ya? Is this about the possessed stuff? The possessed fridges or something? <laughs> A flamethrower? Probably not. But I want you to record the fight on my phone, so we can send it to the producers. Ah, these words. I never tried using the mouse last time, but I figured out later that, um... If you click on it, it gives you a definition of the word. Producers have a real thirst for schlock. <laughs> okay, maybe not a dictionary definition. Yeah, sure thing. Let's get this knife attached. Hehehe. <laughs> Pass me those zip ties. Zip ties. And a knife. Knife. And my coffee. Are you sure? Who even gave you that? Coffee! Damn it. It's empty. My coffee's empty, Kashan. The world is beginning to vibrate? <laughs> Maybe it's good that your cup runneth empty, yeah? I think my cup needs to runneth with more espresso in it. I just. How many shots did you put in there? Too many, Kashan! But did anyone ask Icarus how many shots of espresso he had? Yeah, I'm reading a book about Icarus. Imagine being Daedalus and watching your son die doing the exact thing you told him not to do. Well, Icarus had guts, but nobody ever said he was smart. He flew to the sun! I'm cultured! In unrelated news, I have a headache. Uh, I think you might want to read a little more on Icarus. There's a twist ending to that one. I'm holding a knife, Kishan! No spoilers! Ah! No spoilers! Promise! Mm? Alright, I'll just say hi. Maybe she won't sling a knife at me this time. Who knows? <clears throat> oh god. <laughs> hey, kids! Intruder! Oh my god! <laughs> Kishan! My buddy! My pal! Did I get him? No. Uh, you missed. Damn it! But wait. You threw it on purpose? Extremely on purpose, yes. I'm fine, by the way. Oh, it's just you. Would it have been worse if it was someone else? <laughs> no response. Probably. Unless they were an actual spy, come to steal my robot designs. You never know who might be watching. <laughs> then it would have been good. Uh, I think I'm crashing. From all the coffee. Oh no. Uh... Is she... okay? Did I kill her? Uh, she'll wake up in about 15 minutes with no ill effects. But you probably shouldn't give her any more coffee. She turns into a real goblin. Not to be confused with the days when she's just a regular goblin. Oh, thank you for the clarification. <laughs> oh! She told me that it'll make her immeasurably powerful. I mean, she's not wrong. But, you know. Great power, great responsibility, yada yada yada. She's 13. Kids got plenty of energy already. Maybe not the sense of responsibility, though. Yeah, uh... I don't even know how I ended up sitting here, attaching knives to robots. She's very... convincing? 
Ashley's persuasiveness is a mystery. It clearly can't be logic, eloquence, or charisma that causes people to do her bidding. Well, charisma could be charisma. They were basically attaching knives to robots so they could, I don't know, do robot fights? Ro battle Royale. You don't have to tell me, mate. She basically lives here. Her parents would kill me if they found out she nearly killed me. Is that because you're nearly dead, or is that because she was doing something so violent? <laughs> Which end are they worried about? Pretty good blind throw, though. She makes me proud in the weirdest ways. Huh. Did she learn from the best? Psh. Wait, so she has real parents. But then earlier, they were saying that... Oh, Ashley has adopted Shay and Maddie as her parents. But she has real parents. She did. But the best definitely wasn't me. Maddie's pretty deadly with knives. Loves her flashy tricks. Bad habit, probably. By the way, earlier we were talking about- Earlier? By earlier, I mean last time. We talked about how maybe Kishan might be a mechanic, but maybe not, judging by how he's wearing sandals. I don't think mechanics wear sandals. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm being very rude. My name's Shay. I used to own this place. Now I just sort of sit around and cause trouble and sometimes have knives thrown at me, I guess? I'm Kishan. And I died today. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. We should have finished this last time. Oh, are these the possessed robots? That need to be exercised? <laughs> It kind of reminds me of Nier Automata, the setup. Ah! I'm alive! I'm alive! Oh, we got a loud one here. Oh, be nice. You know it's scary waking up. Big lights coming towards me! I think it's reliving its lost moments? Looks like it. This was the thing that was crawling around on the ground earlier, the one in the middle. What is happening? Hello? I do not remember having this many limbs. Join the club, pal. We are reborn in a new image. <laughs> I see. I'm Kepler. Nice to meet ya. And I'm Jacoby. I am undefined. Hmm. I don't know if that name will stick. Its body is made of a milk carton. Should we just call it milk? No, too basic. Imagine if you called me goon just because I made up a goon box. I wouldn't like that at all. What's a goon box? Is that Australian slang? Ashley was yelling about someone called Lovelace the other day. That's a good one, I think. How does our new friend feel about it? Uh, acceptable? Excellent. Nice to meet you, Lovelace. You are now Lovelace. That was bizarre. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. It's a very strange world. From your hazy memories, certain words call out to you. Oh, these were the words that we saw before, right? In this whole chapter, I guess? These words may be the key to unlocking the mysteries of what happened in this place. <gasps> oh, I get to do something! Okay! Gameplay? Oh, I thought it was pure reading, but uh... Oh, we can only pick seven. Yeah, these words were the ones that were highlighted, right? Oh no... Hmm... Criminals. Pian was when Ashley was like, Hey, Pian, come, come help me upstairs. 
detective. Want to figure out who killed me? How did I die? That sort of thing. We can go for that kind of theme. Spies and criminals and detective. Screwdrivers. Kishan had a lot of screwdrivers on his belt. Forbidden. Forbidden? The ritual that we were trying to do in the prologue? I don't know. Blenders. Add a weird one in here. <laughs> uh, cutlery. And just to make sure. No, I can't pick more. That's it. As they flutter through your mind, you focus on a few and try to remember what they meant. Oh, okay, so we don't get to see the other stuff, but this stuff might help me solve my... Mm, I guess how I died, and by I, I mean Kashan. Okay. Oh, these symbols! Is it about the... Um, the symbols at the beginning of the store? The cafe? Forbidden magic. What did it say in the back? Obscenities? Spy. Guests. You never know who might be watching. Blenders. Food. Spent decades arming our machines. Criminals. Melbourne. Hmm. Cutlery. Food. Oh, I got two foods. Maybe that's not what I wanted. I feel like we want the maximum amount of different symbols. Detective. Oh no, we got this one too. Perhaps, with time, you may be able to cling to more of the fragments that flutter through your mind. What fragments will you choose to carry with you? What is it that you find precious? So we got two cutlery food things and two guest things. Is my goal to get the most amount of different ones? I don't even know. Huh, I should have stopped here last time. Seems like there is a little bit of gameplay after all, but does it affect the story? At this point, I don't know. I'm guessing not. I didn't read anything about this having multiple endings. You know what's really weird though? Apparently this game has a Chinese dub. That's the only language they have voice acting in. I read on the Steam forums that apparently the publisher paid for it. So they have text in a whole bunch of languages, but the only one that has a voice is Chinese, <laughs> for some reason. Okay. I can't see outside. Is that the reflection? Oh! The Fisherman, one. Maddie was about to leave the counter when an old man, old looking man, pushed the door open. He was hunched over, and he walked with a bit of a limp, and even at this distance, she could see the leathery texture of his skin. A test. Some memories seem to evade you. You may have to come back to this one later. Oh, if I want to unlock this, I have to have the certain symbols. So I have... I have the cutlery. I have guests. I have two of these. But I don't have uh, what appears to be Maddie. So next time, let's see if we can try to figure out what word would be associated with Maddie. Oh, okay. Wow, there's actually things to look around here. We gotta be careful then. We can go behind the counter and everything. Wow. You have a picture of the kitchen in the kitchen? It's kind of eerie. It is a pretty relaxing... Hey, Ashley's Journal 1. Oh, I don't have any of these. Oh, I have Melbourne. Robato Royale Robots Power Rankings. Winless. Oh, can I... Can I give the icons right now? Is that how this works? 
Yeah, but I don't have the last one. Well, I don't want to give it in advance, I don't think. Just in case if storing it would let me unlock something else later on. So I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Caution, cleaning in progress. Oh wow. Oh, there is a little bit more than just the visual novel aspect. Interesting. But now we move on to a new chapter. See, this is what I mean again. I keep forgetting to click, so we just stare at this forever. Man... I'd love to see that. I could use a pick-me-up. I can't promise it'll be there. It's kind of inconsistent. Still though... A hallway that's only there sometimes? How do you get to the kitchen otherwise? <gasps> Does this place shift? Oh my god, it's like the oldest house. There is another slightly longer one that we use instead. It's much less exciting. But on the upside, it's consistently there. I love telling new people about it though. The reaction's always hilarious. I definitely didn't expect to be getting enthusiastic today over this weird, over a weird quantum hallway. When people start getting nervous about magic, they usually start trying to explain it using science terms to reassure themselves. Ooh, everything is quantum physics. Or enthusiastic at all, actually. Because as soon as I stop to think about it, I realize I'm actually extremely messed up about this. Whoa, is that a book on exorcisms and magical rituals? I understand. Your life has gotten very weird very fast, conceptually speaking. Or, uh, your... unlife? I should be better at talking about this by now, shouldn't I? Yeah, we don't really know what's going on with Shay either because, per his and Maddie's conversation earlier, apparently he's like over a hundred, so is he dead or... I don't... okay. Oh jeez, that's not a fun one to think about, huh? Just keep talking about the hallway, so I can keep my mind off this. To be honest, I'm not sure I could even properly explain a lot of what goes on in here. The building's mildly sentient. Too much magic in the soil for it to not be, really. So the cafe's... alive? Not necessarily. Plenty of things have come to life here, but as far as we can tell, the building itself doesn't really fall into that category. Also, it mostly tends to shift itself in ways that are helpful, instead of frustrating, so... Quantum Hallways I'm making myself a cuppa. Australian vernacular for cup of tea. An important cultural institution, especially when drunk in the afternoon. Oh, okay, so in Australia, do they say, Would you like a cuppa? You want something? No, I'm good for now. Also... What's the barista's name? I didn't actually catch it, and I feel like a jerk. Oh, Maddie? She's the owner now. Not just a barista. Still makes coffee, of course. But since she's the owner now, she has a lot more to juggle. Why are you asking? We're just asking for her name! Doesn't mean I have to be interested in her! <laughs> Got your eye on her, eh? No. I have a boyfriend. Had? Oh jeez, this is a lot. Wait, you're the one that said had. Did you just say had without realizing it was in past tense? Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's like you just... It's like one of those things that immediately make you realize, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I can't imagine how he's feeling. Try not to think about it. I... Okay. Yup. Okay. You want that drink now? 
I think I want something a little more potent than coffee right now. Sorry. Still thinking about it. Don't enable him, Kashan. Shush. I can get you something stronger, mate. Would you like bourbon? A neat bourbon will always be the perfect mix of classy yet unpretentious. Or is that too weak? Mmm, so if I remember who says what words, then maybe I can figure out what kind of icon the words give. I... I thought this was a cafe? Well, it is. Mostly. We do serve alcohol, though. And stronger things on request. Stronger? Like what? Erguato? Absinthe? Pure ethanol? You think a place like this wouldn't have anything stronger than that? Stronger than pure ethanol? Sure. Remind me later, and I might pull out some of my special reserve. Don't enable him, Kashan. Hey, somebody's gotta drink it. I know you're not gonna touch the stuff aside from setting it on fire. I have perfectly good reasons for wanting to set a puddle of distilled soul on fire. We'll agree to disagree on that one. So, Kishan, what'll it be? Uh, actually, I changed my mind on the coffee. Can I order something complex? Gotta treat myself on my last day of Earth. I'm after a sugar rush. If we have the ingredients, it shouldn't be an issue. Maddie can whip it up for you. <laughs> cool, cool. In that case, can I have a... Large quadruple shot? Double vanilla caramel? No foam? Super hot? Reverse? Coconut milk macchiato? Oh my god. With two sugars and whipped cream on top? Uh... Maddie? Yes, dearest? Can you... Uh... I don't quite know how... Yeah, I didn't understand any of that either. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. Is, is this real? Hmm... Oh, is it too much? I was gonna ask for a splash of bourbon in it. But that seemed a little bit extra. Yeah, I mean, of all the things, the bourbon is what really tips the scales. Stop it. Well... Yes. It is too much. It is a bad order. And I hate it. How bad? Worst one you've ever seen? No. I just hate it. <sighs> Dang. Every single word of that increased my urge to set that espresso machine on fire so I wouldn't have to think about making coffee ever again. So this is something being said by Maddie, which means later on, if we pick urge, maybe we'll get the Maddie icon. Maddie has all the classic symptoms of being a pyromaniac, but she's definitely not a pyromaniac. Oh, she's just angry, that's all. Except the bourbon bit. I put that in my coffee too. People put alcohol in their coffee? So, with all that in mind, I have a counteroffer. Yeah? I'll make you another double shot long black, and I'll put bourbon in it. But I won't call you a hipster this time. Hmm... If you decline my offer, I will strip your soul from your body and use it to scrub the counters at closing time. They will smell delicious afterwards. If that's any consolation. Uh, yikes. That does sound like a competitive counteroffer. Not the soul thing. I'll take the coffee. My generosity knows no bounds. Normie. Maddie sounds like a weeb. She's using all these, like, internet slang words. It me. <laughs> so, in conclusion... That order sucked because it's inordinately complex to make. Has a heart attack worth of sugar in it. And is something only the impatient jerks asked for. Is it possible to die twice? Yup. You can die twice if you're brought back from the dead. 
or if you manage to really annoy someone between here and the next place. Which is more likely, because resurrection is illegal. Oh, now we're getting back to the prologue again. Resurrection is reserved for emergencies, and the Council has very particular definitions about what constitutes an emergency. Many centuries pass without a single qualified emergency, which is why that ritual was so forbidden. But if you're asking whether you can get a heart attack or whatever, the answer is no. Life and death have a slightly different meaning here. Can't die from natural causes. Oh, what, so we have to be murdered? Or get into an accident? It's a bit complex and weird, and we're still in the process of figuring out how it all works. I'm over 200 years old, and I still haven't made proper sense of it yet. Just got some vague ideas. 200? Right. So what's keeping me from just... staying here? Like... I'm already dead. Why do I have to go to the next place? You've got a certain amount of hours you're allowed to remain on the edge of the mortal realm. Hours are... fungible. Fungible? They can be bought, sold, and exchanged. Generally speaking. But the Council of Death always collects on debts owed to them. And you'll start running up a debt if you stay here too long. Your soul starts to get itchy too. Itchy soul? Is there any feeling less pleasant than an itch you can't scratch? Probably, but it's still up there. Um, Getting tickled? Yeah, getting tickled is not the same as being itchy, right? That's pretty bad. Getting tickled when you're ticklish. It's not something you want to experience. We've had a few stays past our allotted time. And they've gotten very uncomfortable, very fast. It starts with general irritability. And then, worse things begin to happen. Uh-huh. Hey, Ashley was here. <laughs> it's a weird thing to wrap your head around. Oh, this is our first time really getting to look outside. It kind of looks like a harbor, a dock. How long do I have before I need to make myself scarce? You get 24 hours. Any longer, and we start to pick up the tab since you're on our premises. Oh, shoot! Can I go back? Oh, I can, I can, okay. Will that affect me though? I don't know. The terminal is a place where borrowed time has a very literal meaning. Hmm, kind of reminds me of that movie, what's it called? The one with Justin Timberlake? In Time? Yeah, I think it's called In Time. It wasn't a good movie. <laughs> and as charming as you are, we've already racked up too much time debt from letting people stick around past their expiry date. And cash-wise, we're extremely poor. We've been a bit too lenient in the past. Letting people stay just a little longer, instead of gently shooing them onto the next plane of existence, etc. You know the drill. But hey, since hours are fungible, you can always acquire them some other way. There's something happening tonight, actually, that you might be interested in. Seriously? You're still doing that? Shush! You know the council doesn't look on that stuff favorably. Ned said so himself. It draws customers and helps us shave down the debt. I'll take whatever I can get. And hey. Fuck Ned. We have a 13 year old right here, you know? <sighs> She's heard enough coarse language for a lifetime. I'm not too worried about her. It really sucks that we have debt, but at the same time, it's already showing that this bunch of people are very empathetic and sympathetic because they're willing to rack up debt 
to keep people around for a little bit longer, at the cost of their own well-being, right? They owe their debt to the council, right? So what happens if they can't pay back? Do we know? I don't even know. She's right, though. What? Every time Ned comes around, he makes you guys really stressed out. Is that the debt collector? Ashley's at that age where she's learned to recognize when other people are stressed, but not experienced enough to fully understand what it feels like. Is she actually just 13? A 13-year-old genius? But, you know, still 13. Maybe not you so much. But Maddie gets nervous and it brings down the mood, man. So, fuck Ned. I think you've had too much coffee today, young lady. I am crashing so hard right now, you have no idea. It's like I was crashing earlier, but that was just a pre-crash, and now I'm having a double crash or something. Huh. <sighs> All I ask is that you try and keep the swearing to a minimum when customers are around. Okay. Does Kishan count? It's fine. A couple of my housemates are tradies, so you learn to ignore it pretty quick. Are you a tradie? A great way to save money on rent and never get lonely, housemates, if you're not attached to the idea of personal space. <laughs> are tradies? Were tradies? Oh, Kishan. <sighs> they're still tradies, unless they changed career in the last couple of days. But they're not my roommates anymore. Because... Hey, mates, have I mentioned how much being dead sucks? Because it sucks, and I feel extremely bad about it. Having a pretty bad time right now in general, to be honest. Yep. Even just adapting your language is a pain, isn't it? Want a proper drink now? Without coffee in it? Seems like there's only us four here. No other customers? For now. Yeah... That'd be good. The TV didn't say anything about there being a storm tonight. You never know when a Melbourne storm is gonna catch you off guard and steal your rugby ball. Does Melbourne get storms often? Huh. It looks like a decent sized one's rolling in. Hey, so what was the thing that you do to get money? The thing that Shay said you shouldn't be doing. Melbourne weather strikes again. I'll go upstairs and close the windows. Cheers. Come on, Ashley. Let's clean up your workbench while we're there, yeah? Uh... Do you need a bribe? Yes. I have some chocolate hidden away. Acceptable. Wait. Dead people can still get drunk, yeah? Why else do you think we serve alcohol? To make money? Did you even pay her for the coffee? Well, yeah. Hang on, do I even have my wallet? Doubt it. I... Uh, don't, yeah. How does that work? Why do I have my clothes, but not the contents of my pockets? Pockets, a good place for things that don't have a place. Chewing gum, spare change, nervous hands. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Everyone's experience is different. Maybe it's related to how you died. Death doesn't follow many rules. Only universal rule I can think of is that you can't stay. People don't generally come in without their clothes, fortunately. Hey, speak for yourself, Maddie. Fortunately for who? Hmm... So, about this drink... I guess you're gonna give me a straight vodka or something? Why's that? You don't like making complex drinks. Ha, <laughs> dude, no. 
I don't like making ridiculous caffeine lace milkshakes for overcompensating soccer dads. I'm happy to mix a cocktail, within reason. Oh, okay. What have you got then? Chase got everything you can think of. And then some. I could go for a mint julep. Hey, what's that outside? Oh! New customer? Outside? Some guy out in the rain? Oh shit! Maddie? Oh, maybe it's Ned. Maddie, what's up? Let's get started on a drink. He didn't seem like a Grim Reaper or anything. Was he just standing outside? He wasn't gonna come in? Okay! I wonder if I'm lagging or was that a stylistic choice? I don't know. Morning. Um... Hi? Hello, recently departed. Maybe it is the Grim Reaper. Hey, that hat you're wearing kind of makes you look like... Ned Kelly? Ned, I could have sworn you were standing outside literally a second ago. So, how'd he die? Wait, Ned Kelly? Kashan knows Ned Kelly? Who is Ned Kelly? Good morning to you too, Ned. It's five o'clock in the afternoon, Madeline. Piss off, Ned. That's not even my full name. Isn't it, Maddie? Chase said it was, and he never lies. He never said that. Well, no. But it was worth a try. A try at what? Catching me off balance? Some shit along those lines? Mate, I am so off balance right now that a light breeze would knock me head over arse. Don't push me. Hey, this mint julep is great. Just wanted to contribute that to the conversation. Okay, thanks, Kashan. So, you catch the game last night? The Australian Football League provides everyone with a chance to root for their favorite local team, except Tasmanians. This guy... It's a hat? I, I don't... I, I, it's entirely covered, I don't know what's going on. But he has human hands. Yes. I know that Carlton beat Collingwood, again. I don't care. Oof. Just making polite conversation. You should try it sometime. Maybe. Not for you, though. You've never come in during daylight hours before. What do you want? Nothing much. I'd like to talk to Che at some point, but it can wait. Seeing as he's... missing? Planning on sending out a search party? Might do. Wait, is Che supposed to be officially missing? Or does he just not know that he's upstairs? It'll be a shame to lose an old friend by letting him wander onto some train tracks or something. Yeah, well... Shut up. He's upstairs, last I saw. What was the last you saw, Maddie? Tell me. Whoa. Why are you like this? What was it? Last saw him walking upstairs. So he could be anywhere, then. Probably fled the country to dodge a massive time debt you lot are racking up. Some obligations have a way of following you, no matter where you run to. Hmm. He can't go far. I've got him on a pretty tight leash. And in regards to the debt... Uh-uh-uh. It's not your problem. Uh... You must not have heard... Oh! 
did Shay change the ownership of the place to me? I mean, to Maddie? To get away from the dead? Not your problem. Che is the one who has a lot of debt. Maybe that's related to his age. Che! Your dickhead friend Ned is here! Oi. I'm a distinguished gent. Not a dickhead. I'll be down in a sec. Yeah, sure. But you also work for the Council of Death. So even if you are a distinguished gent, it cancels out. Is the Council of Death like a normal city council? Except for... wherever dead people live? Yeah, but the only trash that needs to be collected is right in front of me. This guy? Me? No. You. You're the trash, Ned. The trash... is you. Mm, when he first walked in, alongside the sinister music, I kind of thought that Maddie was afraid of him. But not at all, she's really just saying it all out. The trash... is you. It's you, Ned. The trash man from hell. Because councils pick up trash. That's a joke. Oh, cool. <laughs> He's even got a head shaped like a rubbish bin. Oh, that's how you know we're in Australia. Rubbish bins, not garbage cans. It's totally fitting. Hmm. I'm not from hell. I don't care. And to be clear, Ned, in case we weren't already, you are the trash. Yeah, I get it. You know how long Chase gonna be? Then now. He was busy upstairs with Ashley. Yeah, I had to hide like five steak knives from her. I didn't even know we had five steak knives. Oh, we were the, the cutlery was going missing because Ashley was taking them. Bit quiet there, mate. How long have you been sitting there? This guy just comes up out of nowhere. Does it matter? Well, your employee's being very rude to me. So if you'd heard any of that... I keep trying to tell him. Ah... My employee. Yes. We have some catching up to do. I don't follow. Did she quit? Maddie's not one to back away from a challenge, but if she did, she wouldn't be the first. To quit? Oh, so other people worked for Che before, but then, you know, they couldn't handle it for whatever reason. Maybe the dead, maybe... the fact that dead people come here, who knows. Did you fire her for a gross incompetence? Huh, <laughs> far from it. There has been quite a bit of a shakeup in the cafe's management structure since you last visited. Oh no. Don't tell me you gave her the whole thing. Okay, I won't tell you. <laughs> I tried to tell you before, man. Hey, does anyone else like mint juleps? Because this is great and I'm nearly done, but also my tongue is numb and I'm wondering what the deal is with that. <laughs> Was there something you wanted to discuss? I... need a drink before we go through all that. Sure. The usual? Yes, please. How come he gets a curly straw? Oh, it's so cute! So, Che. Spin me a tale of how and when you handed down the cafe to... this person. Well... Every man's got his price. Can my price be a curly straw too? Buddy, I'll give you two if it means you'll stop complaining about numb lips. Yeah, um... What did you make this with? I couldn't find half the ingredients, so I put in a bunch of ergoiteau and chili seeds. 
It's got some of the stuff, though, so it's a mint julep in spirit, if nothing else. Does this have any mint or julep in it? At all? It definitely may be lacking mint, and I cannot confirm nor deny the existence of the mythical julep. You asked for Urgul too earlier, though, so there you go. Mission complete. Maddie, I'm getting very drunk very fast. Urguato does that to ya. Here, I think you should have a little lie down. I'll get you some water. I'm as strong as an ox. I don't need a lie down. Kishan, my dude. Absolutely need to get horizontal as soon as possible. You can sober up in one of the booths in, up in the back. It's nice and quiet over there. Uh, I'll fight ya. <laughs> no, you won't. Up you get, mate. Bloody hell. It would have been helpful if you'd told me about this before. Probably. I'm not worried about it. Maddie knew what she was getting into with this whole cafe situation. And it's natural that it might take a while for her to get the hang of running a business. Yeah, the debt basically got passed from Shay to Maddie, but I wonder if that means that Shay is completely off the hook or how does it all work? Bloody hell. Bit of a dog's dinner though, isn't it? Sometimes you have a kitchen mishap that results in a food only fit for a dog's dinner. Some dogs resent the implication that they're deserving of lesser food, but most of them eagerly lap it up. <laughs> I've never heard of this one before. Oh, for sure. But it'll get better. Like I said, not worried about it. Well... You might want to hold your judgement on that for the moment. I am, unfortunately, here on official business. Oh. I shouldn't have given you the straw then. No, you shouldn't have. I look quite silly. Want me to get rid of it? It's just Maddie. She won't use it to derail our conversation, or make me look like a fool or anything like that. Straw? No, I'll get you one after you have a nap. You can sip the water like a normal person. I was just talking to Kishan. I'll put it with the dirty dishes then. It's like a musical symbol. <sighs> the sacrifices I make for this job. Hey, you met me through it. So it can't have been all bad. That was bloody a hundred years ago. Man, really? A hundred years ago. So this guy, he works for the Council of Death. It might mean he's some kind of an undead person too, just like shame. Longer. Time flies when you're immortal, huh? Immortal, that's the word I'm looking for. Quasi-immortal? This old rust bucket still got an expiry date somewhere down the line. Time comes for us all. Does it? Does it? What's this about immortality? Hey, you should buy more plants! Shut up! Sorry, continue. Immortality? Nothing that I trust you with, that's for sure. Aw, don't you want to see crotchety old me being rude to youngsters in a hundred years? Truly, I do not. Yeah, Maddie was the one who was the main person trying to do that ritual of necromancy. So it does make sense that she's interested in immortality here. But maybe not for herself. Yeah, if she's willing to take on somebody else's debt, it doesn't sound like she's all that selfish of a person. The far future doesn't need amateur necromancers. Amateur can describe someone who is not good enough to turn pro, but it could also mean somebody who passionately engages in something just for the pure love of it. Yeah, professional means you do it as a profession, right? But it could also mean that you're an expert at it. Same difference. 
Your loss. So, you two heading upstairs? Actually, Ned does, in fact, have something fairly important to discuss with you. Oh, Che knows already. Oh? It's about the debt you owe. To the council. Yeah, I know. What about it? Maddie, it's time. You owe us over 600 hours. Che signed a contract. The hours or the cafe. 600 hours? That's a little bit less than I was expecting. But if you think about it... Mmm... I don't know, 600 hours? How much is that in days? 25 days. A little bit less than a month? You own the cafe. So you own the debt. And tonight, I've come to collect. Oh! Getting a fully animated cutscene here now. That whole thing was just the intro. It's very anime feeling. Yeah? Again, that was budgeted, but you could tell they they really put thought into the cinematography and all that. Pretty cool.